Summer months of 2017 have been uh, good for LSV Persian Gulf Fund. In July we had a positive performance of plus 3.7 percent and in August plus 0.1 percent, bringing our year-to-date result to plus 2.9 percent. As you can see on our fund performance chart, then um, uh, we peaked out uh, at around September 2014 and we had the drawdown of about 40% all the way uh, to January 2016 as the oil prices were plummeting. But um, as of now, during the last year and a half, we have recovered uh, about a quarter from those January 2016 lows, rising about 24-25%. Uh, despite this uh, uh, increase that we've seen during the last year and a half, actually the portfolio's valuation still remains very attractive. Fund single investments trade at around 10.2 uh, times forward-looking earnings, 1.1 uh, times uh, trailing book value, and offer about 3.7% dividend yield. On the next uh, uh, picture, uh, you, can, you can see the table with all of our uh, fund's top 10 biggest investments and their valuations. Um, and all of those companies uh, finished reporting their Q2 financial results in July and August. Um, all in all, uh, we could say that it was a, a pretty decent uh, set of uh, numbers that the companies reported in Q2. Uh, four of those companies actually uh, had very nice numbers. Uh, we can highlight EMR Properties, Dubai Islamic Bank, Emirates NBD and Almira Consumer Goods. Four other companies were uh, also uh, decent uh, numbers that were meeting our expectations. Uh, those were uh, Russell Kema Ceramics, Aluminium Bahrain, Sipchem and Aldar Properties. And actually only one company um, uh, reported results that were uh, below our expectations. Uh, it was an Omani bank called Bank Muscat. Uh, but that company is trading at so cheap levels that uh, even those numbers were already more than discounted into the share price. So previously, I've talked a lot about uh, MSCI index provider uh, who announced in June uh, 2017 that uh, it uh, added Saudi Arabia to its uh, MSCI Emerging Market uh, Index review list. And there is big potential that next year they will an announce uh, of uh, upgrade uh, to Saudi. Uh, then this time I wanted to comment uh, on FTSE index provider. It's an alternative index provider um, which is becoming more and more popular and for example is used by uh, Vanguard index funds who is one of the world's largest and cheapest index funds. Um, FTSE will announce already at the end of this month on 29th of September uh, whether or not to upgrade Saudi Arabia and Kuwait uh, to its uh, FTSE secondary emerging market index. And um, should that happen, then that's definitely uh, one important uh, short-term catalyst for, for the GCC regional markets. Thank you for listening. <laughs>